staff and various parastatas in Sapi local government area has held a mammoth ceremony to celebrate the achievement of the outgoing chairman of Sapi local government area in Delta State, Honorable Chief Eugene Okwe Inwaga, as his tenure in office winds to a close. The event took place at the local government secretariat in Sapi and is saw workers in Sapi local government led by the chairman of Nigerian Union of Local Government Employees, Noge, Sapi chapter, Comrade Mrs. Messi Ijeye, come bearing gift and admonition to Inwaga, who was in attendance alongside his wife, Chief Mrs. Elizabeth Inwaga. It is no secret that the transformational works of Honorable Eugene Okbe Inwaga in Sapi local government has been so evident as his two tenor in office has seen a harvest of projects in Sapi, ranging from education, environment, roads, electricity, renovation and painting of the secretariat, and the building of an ultra-modern legislative arm and more. During the event, an award of excellence was presented to Inwaga by Noge, the Royal Honorable Doctorate Distinguished Award by the Clerics. The wife of the chairman also presented books and uniforms to students and pupils of Sapley Group of Schools, an edifice that was totally transformed under the Inwaga-led administration. Different groups and staff also presented gifts to Inwaga, and during his speech, the outgoing chairman, alongside his wife, took her time to appreciate everyone for the gesture, thanking former governor. Dr. Ifan Yokoa and present Governor Right Honorable Sheriff Oborewori for their support in actualizing his mandate. Thank you everyone for being there for my husband. I appreciate you so much. I don't know where to start from but I just say thank you so much for your kindness for your support throughout our administration. Well, well, my pretty wife and senator, I want to thank the Vice Chairman of Council, Secretary of Council, the Executives of South Local Government Council. I must not fail to mention the leader of the legislative arm. Honorable Churchill Ayemano and other councillors. Without them, it wouldn't have been a successful story. To the leaders of BDP, I'm indeed very, very grateful. I want to thank Nogue, the chairman of Nogue. They call her a woman, Mrs. Mercy again, but I call her a man. What she did in taking this council to greater heights, I want to say thank you. Thank you for all that you've done. The staff of council, you are good. When you say Eugene has done this, he has done that, he has achieved this, he has achieved that. I believe the money that comes to council is not my money. It's everybody's money. It's the people of Sapley local government. If you don't invest it well, I will be held accountable. I want to thank Governor Senator Dr. Ifan Yogoa for all he has done. I also want to thank Right Honorable Sheriff Rukwedo Oborewori for the assistance given thus far. They don't temper with council's money. They don't be far with council's money. Once the application comes, it is given to council. And we should make it just use of it. And to thank them on behalf of myself and my amiable wife and my children. All I want to say is to say thank you. Thank you. We also took our time to speak to Nugget Chairman Ijeye, leader of Sapley Legislative Arm, Honorable Chochi Ayomano, and the Chief Press Secretary to the Chairman, Comrade Mark Tabara, and they spoke on the immense achievement of Inwaga and why it has come as no surprise for him to be celebrated by the workers. There is the word that says, 
a laborer deserves his wage. So whoever has done well deserves to be applauded. And when you appreciate people, you give them motivation to do more. The chairman has tried, he has done well, excellently well. That is why we deem it fit to let him know that he has done well, so that next time he can do more. That is just the essence of today's celebration. Well, like I said in my speech, I asked a question, who can be worthy or capable to put on this big shoe that he's leaving behind? And we have equally appealed to the leadership of our great party through that speech that they should bring somebody who can at least measure up with him, if not above him. So that is our wish. And to him we pray that he will go to a greater height. I remember my humble self, right Honorable Churchill Ayomano, the leader of Sable Legislative Arm. I am indeed glad today. Today remind me of uh, the Last Supper, when Jesus Christ was having his feast, the Last Supper feast with his disciples. Today the chairman is seen like Christ today for his achievement. It's like Jesus Christ and we the counselors are like his disciples. He, he has achieved a lot. I'm very proud. I'm very proud that I'm part of this administration. And I'm very proud that, that I'm here while all this is happening. Well, the chairman has, you know, showed some skills, a lot of skills, to manage the system. He was able to make a very, uh, you know, good relation, a significant relationship with the legislative arm. And I want to say a big thank you to the governor of Delta State that has given the chairman this opportunity to put in place all these uh, gentactic structures. Uh, my name is Onajite Malcolm Takbara, Pioneer Chief Press Secretary, Supply Local Government Council. The one word, fulfillment, because he came with promises and he's living with legacies. When we started, from the inception, I was there from the beginning and I knew how the local government was then and I and I can attest to the fact that what we are seeing today is a clear testimony of a man that came saw and delivered I am Akbar Henry Akbos and this is Railroad TV thank you for watching